medication that the dermatologist had given me had no effect uh, other than to make me quite sick. A month of nonstop itching is turning Joe's dream of a new life into a nightmare. Every aspect of my life, my thinking, my physical well-being, my sleep patterns, my daily routines, everything was affected. And his increasingly strange behavior doesn't go unnoticed. Come in. Hi, Joe. I don't mean to pry, but is everything OK with you? Sure, why? I know my boss was concerned. Her first comment was, you look like you're strung out on drugs. I promise transparency at this school, but I also ask that it be reciprocal. Afraid for his job, Joe tries telling his boss the truth. I have a skin condition that's been causing me quite a bit of physical discomfort. And it's been emotionally draining. I'm really sorry. I'd hoped that people hadn't noticed. Do you need to take a leave of absence? No, 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 no. I'm getting it under control. And I promise it won't affect my teaching. OK. Desperate, Joe begins to search for an alternate scabies treatment. And so I pursued on my own, tried to find things that were affordable and possibly effective. Yes, I'm calling about your scabies products. I had been contacting companies that sold uh, soaps related to getting rid of scabies. Well, the area that's most affected is definitely my scalp. One of the representatives of the company told me that they could not help me. What do you mean that's not consistent with scabies? He knew scabies in and out and basically said, you don't get these symptoms above the neck. It's just not likely. I've been to a dermatologist. He said the symptoms I had were not scabies. And I was pretty angry. I was angry that there weren't any answers, and I felt like my resources were running out. <laughs> By now, not even sleep offers him any relief. 